really enjoy understanding where they come from, what makes them tick, the psychology behind who they are. Matt Wolf is a cancer survivor. Eight years ago, the medical establishment told her that she had stage three cancer. She wants to be able to share that journey of turning things around from a death sentence to a life of vibrancy. I really try to empower others to bring their own work to a wider audience. I think photography books can be vehicles of social change. A person's life's work is a book. They can be a great vehicle for just getting your creativity out in the world. Doing books just came naturally to me. And as my career progressed, I really wanted to help other people be able to do their own books. This workshop has been a rebirth for me. I was trying to decide if yesterday was my new birthday or if today is my new birthday. What a wonderful energy to be around, to watch those light bulbs go on as people realize, wow, I can do this. Joyce started with very personal books. One of them was an anthology of self-portraits of women, one by women. The new books, I think, are kind of really inspirational books with uh, quotes of women and what they have to say about the world. This is Maya Angelou. I asked her what was most important in her life. She said, the journey. If you're not on the journey, you're not alive. Mimi Waddell. I love this picture because it reminds me of that fragile moment between life and death. This is a homeless woman that I found at a shelter, and she told me that without love, we are nothing. I think Joyce's support, her nurturing, her understanding of each student as a person, her love it just encompasses it all. I photographed this woman in Sacramento and I asked her to tell me something she had learned from her long 93 year life and she said, I can still remember what it feels like to love with all my heart. Will that do, Miss Tennyson? <laughs> I said, that will more than do.